Hey guys, so quickly I'm going to do my birth story. I had taken like you know a Q and A about that, and I had asked like whatever questions you all have. So most questions were the common ones like uh, what type of delivery was it, uh, in how many weeks did I deliver, and uh, did I take epidural, and what like how exactly the process went. So I'm quickly gonna answer all of that in one go only. I won't put a question box again and like you know answer to those questions. I'll just directly share my birth story. over here so yeah starting with the most common question that is like what type of delivery did i have so i had the normal like the vaginal delivery and uh, i did not take epidural and i am so so proud of myself for that uh, not that i'm judging anyone who takes it but uh, like you know me and harsh we wished for unmedicated birth and uh, it worked out that way i was able to bear the pain and uh, yeah so i'm really like happy about that uh how exactly like you know the exercises and everything that i did i'll share that in detail later but i just wanted to quickly give a brief about how exactly the whole experience was okay so my birth story was uh, like i delivered on 37th week like 37 weeks and few days about that 3 4 days i guess and uh, on like i had my doctor's checkup on thursday and i was not dilated at all and after that like on sunday early morning i delivered like a week so uh it was just like 3 days and the whole game changed so it can happen so quickly even we were shocked to like you know see that and how it went uh, on even in fact on saturday we were roaming out my parents were here so uh, i just felt that you know before like now last few weeks are there we won't be able to go out anywhere after this so this is the last weekend let's enjoy so we even went to reunion tower over here uh, so mom dad went up like you know at the tower and me and harsh were at the park and uh, in fact that day i didn't even feel like sitting on uh, chairs or benches or anything we were just sitting on the grass and enjoying like you know having a great time and that was the last time even we didn't realize that me and her just had an impromptu date kind of thing so yeah and after that uh, we went to cheesecake factory for dinner like all of us and uh, i'm not sure if that that helped me in labor but yeah just adding the facts whatever was there but uh, yeah so we went and around 11:30 quarter to 12 we came at home and uh, at 1 o'clock i remember i started labor like even we were not even sleeping yet like mom dad slept but me and harsh were just like discussing on st- some stuff so it was 1 o'clock and i had an intense contraction so no my water did not break but i had like you know very strong contraction and i just said harsh that i like you know i feel i got a contraction and he's like ki nahi yaar it will be braxton hicks only because i was getting it from past few like you know days so he's like it will be that only but i knew the difference like i understood the difference that it was not that and i just felt that nahi yaar i just think this is contraction and within few minutes i again got it so it was like you know that quick for me and i was feeling like you know the pain was very much intense so first thing that we did like we had researched a lot we read a lot of books not lot of books but we read one book very thoroughly we had done classes so that helped like you know we were exactly aware about the labor one coping technique for like you know labor contractions that was like you know on our list was to sit in bathtub so harsh quickly filled the tub and i was just sitting over there and then he started like you know timing the contractions as well this is very very important uh, and yeah my water did not break so uh, even timing your contractions is very important and make sure that you know at what time you have to leave for the hospital so we were very sure we wanted to like you know go around 311 or 411 so that was our plan and um, this is like you know 1 o'clock the labor started 3 o'clock it was very intense and i just said now like you know let's wake up mom and dad as well because i think we need to rush to the hospital so we even like you know woke up my mom first and she's like that i think it might be gas only i'm like no mom i'm just feeling that pain and then even she understood that it was very intense 
so uh, then after a few minutes we even woke my dad and then we left for the hospital around 3:30 like we reached over there at the er and uh, when they checked me over there i was already 6 cm dilated so now you know we are talking about thursday i was not at all dilated and on sunday like at 3:30 am i was 6 cm dilated then they quickly moved me to the like you know the labor room and uh, over there uh, they asked me if i wanted epidural so at that time i was able to bear the pain uh, i was shouting i was like you know in lot of pain at that time i was in lot of pain but me and harsh like you know we had that mindset we had decided from very early on in our pregnancy that we wanted to try for unmedicated birth only if if i cannot bear at all then yes i'll surely take epidural but uh, till like you know i just wanted him to go in all natural so i was like no i want to wait for few more minutes like you know before i decide and uh, even then i like you know my dilation was progressing very quickly even my water broke after that so they were like you know the hospital staff mainly and harsh like two of them were my greatest support system they were encouraging me motivating me and just like you know letting me know that i can do this and that really 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 helped me throughout my like you know labor then around 6:30 i remember that i was not able to bear the pain it was like on my words that i just cannot do it anymore and uh, that time i was 9 cm dilated and when i asked my nurse that i think i should take an epidural so she was very like you know stubborn on that thing she's like you have already like you know reached so far i don't think that you should and even harsh was like that ab to matlab you have like whole night you bed and everything is done you are already 9 cm within half an hour or one hour you'll be able to push out the baby so i was like okay and even nurse said me that you know you are not going to get like pain level will be not more than this at 9 cm or 10 from 8 to 10 you have the same level of pain so if you have bed you will be able to go through it Yeah so then around 7 10 or something i started pushing and he was here around 7 37 and uh, there were two things that happened at the birth one was that his face was up usually the face is down the baby crowns and the face goes down so face was up not the head head was already down but the facing side is up like was up so they had to use a vacuum to take him out because they uh, he cannot like you know come out that way and other thing was uh, i got third degree tear so yeah it was a lot of like you know uh, things were unexpected it was difficult and uh, mainly throughout my pregnancy also my iron levels were low and uh, with that third degree tear i like you know my iron levels literally dropped down significantly my hemoglobin dropped down to around 6 or 6.5 percent which is really very low so then they like you know uh, moved me to the recovery room and uh, we ha- we were we had plans for delayed cord clamping and everything but it did not work out because uh, i started losing lot of blood and due, due to the third degree tear and everything they just had to take him away and doctor had to concentrate on me first so yeah uh, but harsh did the cord clamping are cord cutting so yeah that was there and after that in the recovery room i was like you know given blood transfusion so yeah that was my story so they discharge you within a day over here they don't like you know even keep you for two days or three days uh, but due to the blood loss uh, i was having lot of dizziness and also me and harsh decided like uh, they asked us if you want to stay or not but we thought that it is okay we should stay for one more day so i was discharged on the second day like sunday morning i delivered and i came home on tuesday so yeah and the postpartum journey continues but uh, it was an amazing experience will i do it again in the same way yes i will like you know going in unmedicated going like you know with 
all the things like if you research well if you are well aware about everything then i feel that yeah you can do it like i i did it so i feel that anyone can one thing is very important like you know have knowledge about everything even if it scares you like during the pregnancy uh watching those videos going in those classes and like you know listening about the birth thing and the stories it was really very overwhelming on both of us and like i still feel that it was very very difficult it was not that easy or like you know how i i would just make it sound that yeah i just did it no it was it was tough uh my recovery was tough but uh i think that if you go in well prepared if you have that mindset then yes you can do it like women are really powerful this i just came to know after giving birth that yeah we are powerful so when like you know even when i had taken a poll earlier about the birth plan thing many of you said me like you know just go with the flow it doesn't happen yeah i know we have to go with the flow but having a birth plan having what you want for your birth is really 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 beneficial i did that and i know that it was really like you know amazing experience for me and uh, second most important thing is your partner of course like you know hats off to him i don't know if it would be like a role reversal situation i cannot even think about standing over there and motivating when like you know your spouse is in so much of pain and her literally had tears in his eyes when i was in labor and he was still motivating me and that was like really wholesome moment that we shared so yeah and lastly like you know it's the hospital staff like my hospital staff was amazing these people like you know they were really so good i had like almost like a midwife kind of experience with the hospital as well uh so 100% like you know having a good hospital good staff it's really important my labor staff was amazing my recovery staff was like great these people are really great so yeah that was it and if you have any other questions i'll leave a box over here ask me and i'll surely reply to every one of you so this was my birth story